mis penas de una lluvia de cielo. He was born in Tucson, Arizona, on Meyer Street, in one of those old Sonoran homes that you have on the corner of 17th Street and Meyer. And he was orphaned by the time he was three years old. His grandparents uh, took care of him. He was orphaned by his father at three, orphaned by his mother uh, when he was even younger than that. train and left Tucson to Long Beach, California, Wilmington, California to go find that family and he met up with them again so he was raised by that family when he was 15, um, probably about 18 years old. Turned to Tucson, he was already pretty good at the game and he was playing here in Tucson with some of the teams in town and um, he was doing so good that the scouts for the Mexican League saw him and they invited him to come and play ball with the Mexican League, uh, which is, you know, the majors in Mexico, comparable to the Dodgers or the Diamondbacks. And he was invited to play in uh, Tampico with the Alijadores of Tampico when he was 21 years old. So he was pretty good. What happened to his, his life in the U.S.? Why didn't he get recruited by the U.S. team? Well, he told me that there was, he could not compete uh, they wouldn't allow him to compete with uh, the other ball players because, first of all, he was a, a short man, you know, typical Mexican American, short guy, and he also was Mexican American. And then there was a lot of discrimination during that time, and um, they wouldn't even give him a chance. Um, he 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 was he wanted to retire uh, in Mexico and live in Mexico, but my mother, being a Mexican American, did not want to move to Mexico. She was uh, she loved the United States, and uh, she forced him to come back home. And uh, he ended up coming back home, and he worked for the county, he worked for the city, he worked for the mines, and he also uh, then uh, landed a job with T Tucson Unified School District. And, um, as a maintenance janitor at Safford, and he worked at Safford for about 24 years as a maintenance janitor at Safford. And he got to be with principals that he used to coach in softball, like Mr. Rui Boss. And he also used to teach the young men that were playing ball for Safford. He would go out there and help them and teach them how to hold a bat and, and do all that. So he worked for Safford, the Unified School District, for many years. If you ask a lot of the people that know him that are still around, they will tell you that he was so good that if he was today, living today, that he would be a major league ball player.